shoot. Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorland DC. Sorry, I'm just getting myself prepared because I'm a little bit excited about this. And there's also a public footpath just there. So if I stop at any point, it's because people are walking past and probably thinking, what's that weirdo doing? But anyway, let's get into the video. So you've seen, you've already seen the thumbnail already, so you know what this is about. But I'm so excited about this. I've been it, oh, so in incredibly excited to get out and to do some filming. This week, here in the UK, the weather has been pants, absolutely pants. Now, a bit of rain doesn't stop the Moorlander from getting outside, I'll have you know. Um, but it's not just been a bit of rain, it's been, it's been terrible. We've literally had, we've not literally had, we've actually had um, five days full of rain. But waffling, you don't want to know that, you want to see the goods. Now, growing up in the Moorlands, back in the day, there's also lots of flies, so you might see a lot of face touching. But growing up in the moorlands back in the day i was always outside getting into mischief with the classic slingshot catapult this is actually my daughter's um i didn't have one as nice as this back in the day it literally was you know a, a y and a piece of wood and and some elastic bands um but yeah it was either that or it was the nintendo zapper um and I'll have you know, many a duck has been shot with this uh, this fine weapon. And I'm not going to throw this down because this is actually, I, I love this to bits. So if I threw this and got it in the mud, I'd, I'd have to hit myself several times. Back in a sec. Now where was I? So what I'm here today to show you is a little thing that's been sent to me. And I'm so excited to, uh, to show you this. I'll do a little zoom in now as well so you can see it as well. But... <gasps> Look at its beauty. Oh. So this is a slingshot stroke catapult, depending on whatever, you, you know, where you're from and what you call it. Um, uh, this one is actually made by, from um, Queenie Catapult's uh, hobbies. And as far as it goes, I mean, this it's just beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's not a bespoke one that was made for me, however, when I first got it in my hand, it, it really does feel like it was designed perfectly for my hand. So, yeah. Um, people walking past. So, I'm going to test this out today. Now, I literally, well, I keep saying literally, sorry about that. I, I haven't used a catapult or a slingshot since I was a kid. Um, so, it's been a long time. I've been watching lots of videos on how to hold the pouch and hold the grips and and this sort of stuff and how to aim um but it, it is completely new to me the muscle memory is not there from what i had when i was young so f please feel free to leave um constructive feedback in the comments was to see where i'm going wrong or things that i can improve on because this really is the first time that I've took this out and, uh, and, and, had a, and had a fire with it. Now hopefully you'll be able to see over there against the tree, I've got a white target with a blue cross in it. It's roughly 11 meters away. We checked, so that's about 30, 30, well 11 meters is roughly 11 yards. So what's that, that's, that's 30, 34, 35 feet uh, and I'm using uh, some BBs that I bought from Amazon because they were nice and cheap um, and just because I'm getting into this then I, I thought you know don't drop them I thought might as well get something cheap and uh, yeah so um, yeah that's about it um, where was my mark? I can't find the mark, but hopefully you should be able to see me doing this. A lot of me turning back to talk to the camera. I think I've got it right. Now inside the, uh, the bag where the target is, I've put um, a towel so that it won't deflect off. Oh, that's a good point. Eye protection. Um, 
hopefully nothing's going to bounce off and hit me in the face but it's always good just in case so inside i put some uh, a towel inside the bag just so hopefully anything that bounces off will just drop straight down if it hits the tree hopefully it'll deflect in one or two directions So new to this. Ooh, that was a miss, went down the right hand side. I might put this on fast forward from now. It's that bit, that's the hard bit, it's getting the getting the the ball to stay in the middle. Okay, so that hit the tree, went off right. If the camera was there, you'd totally see the concentration on my face. When actually, this is oh, this is so much fun. I wish I bought more balls now. Yeah, this is this is the hard bit, I suppose. Like like with a lot of things, archery and other things, it's about your technique and it's also about the release of the ball to make sure that you get that right. And when you when you get that constant release right, then you it, it, it should stay on target. Ooh, beauty! So while I'm loading this one up and waffling for change, uh, I'd like to inform you that no animals were purposely hurt uh, during this video. If any animals were hurt, it was definitely not by me aiming at them. Ooh. So they all seem to be going to the right. So let's adjust my aim to the left slightly. Okay, it's getting there. Just needs to go up and to the left a bit more. Boom! Okay. I hope this makes good viewing because <laughs> it's just me fumbling around trying to get this right but when in actuality I'm having loads of fun it's brilliant oh okay so I'm out veering off to the right still and the band just hit me right in the knuckles as well so definitely did something wrong on that one I hope this is an interesting watch. I don't know why I did that with that one. This one was one that hurts. Okay, so I'm doing something wrong now. And I'm not 100% sure what it is that I'm doing wrong. But... It's definitely hurting. Again on the knuckles. Uh, feel free to leave some comments. Uh, I'm sure you're probably all watching this. Uh, actually, I hope you're all still watching this. Hope you haven't uh, stopped the video by now, because if it's not fun for you, this is incredibly fun for me. Is it my, is it my grip on this? Is that it? So I'm getting better with a shot, but each and every one of these is flinging round and hitting me on the knuckles. So, I'm doing something wrong he here, aren't I? Is that because... Lies. 
That one didn't hit me on the knuckles, that was a good one. But I forgot where I put my BBs. Definitely have to do some time remapping on this one so that you're not all sat there bored. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was yet again just to the right. Definitely doing something wrong there. Okay, so it's easy to do that, but it takes longer. Let's try again. Now instinctively, I want to hold it like that, which I guess is not how it's done nowadays. Um, it's, it, it's like that, isn't it? Which, you know, I can understand that you get a better, you get a better adjustment on there. Boom! Right. I hope this makes an interesting video to watch. <laughs> I won't do it too much longer, but I will after the video because I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Oh, just off to the right again. Okay, keep going, Morelander. Let's do this. Dropping them. Just too polished. I think that's the difference. Maybe I should have bought, ooh, that'd be a good idea. Ones with a bit of grip on them, that's what you need. I suppose they don't make good ball bearings, do they? Oh. So, I think I've worked out what I was doing wrong. I think when I'm pulling, I'm pulling it at an angle like this so that it's then going round rather than pulling it straight. So I think I'm getting that bit okay. Ah! He says, and then you hurt. Just off to the right again. I wonder if I stood here. If I stood here. <laughs> Boom! Okay. So what I'm doing now is instead of aiming between these, I'm also almost aiming an inch off which is probably something to do with my technique because it's not, it's not following through here properly. So, I mean, that's probably more my aiming technique rather than, well, it can't be the catapult's fault. A poor man, a poor, poor tradesman blames his tools. <laughs> a poor catapult, catapultist blames his catapult. Or slingshot, wherever you're from. Ooh, okay. So now I'm trying instinctive shooting. So rather than doing it by by lining it up, I'm just going off instinct where I think it should go. Which probably means your guess is as good as mine. Heard a bit of a noise there in the undergrowth, just making sure it's not a wild boar or a bear or something. Ooh. That could have just been a fluke, but instinctive. Okay, so two for two on instinctive. That's quite good, I guess. Try again. 
Now that was bang on target, but just hit above the target, so... Uh, I don't know, what does that tell me? That tells me that I'm rubbish at aiming, but instinctively... I'm okay. Let's try again. Okay, so... What we've learned today, fellow Moorlanders, is... Well, not much. But we've also learned that I'm having a lot of fun. I've still got more. I've got loads. But I'm not going to put you through the trouble of watching me do all of it. Because it really is just me jabbering. But... Now, that one landed in the mud over there. So I'm guessing that was a release. It made a strange noise. I don't know if you heard it. It made a strange noise as it came out of my hand. So I don't think I released it properly. Probably because I was jabbering. But I think I'm finding that. Okay, so I'm definitely finding that the more instinctive shots where I'm using both eyes and just sending it where I think it should go rather than, so that last one, both eyes open I'm lining it up where I think it should go. Now this is probably bad because I've got it underneath my chin. If it should be there, I, I don't know, but it's something that I'm gonna have to have a play around with. Whereas before, I was bringing it onto my cheek, onto my chin, just with one eye open and trying to aim it like that. And I'm not getting as good results like that. Whereas both eyes open, shooting from the hip, more of a, I don't know. Um, if this is also bad practice as well, I apologize for any uh, slingshot catapultists out there. Um, I might be doing things that are not good. So again, please feel free to put something in the comments. Boom! Quite stuck now. Oh, I feel like we've got like a, a whole ant's nest. Ant's nest? Crawling up my leg. Right, last one. Unless I miss, but it's not going to be the last one. Okay, that wasn't the last one. But again, bang on target, but it was just above. So I think that's what's telling me is that I need to practice both. I guess it gets more intuitive that way or there's the muscle memory. I can't imagine that this is muscle memory from when I was doing it when I was a youngster. Um, but yeah, I suppose maybe one way I'm favoured over another. Let's try this. Boom! That is... That is fun, that is adult fun. Okay, that's uh, a little bit different than that other adult fun uh, webpage that I've got going, but there you go. Um, yeah, I love this, absolutely love it. I'll do some close-ups of it so that you can see it a little bit more. You can see the craftsmanship that uh, Mr. McQueenie puts into these. It's absolutely amazing, as, as I say, apart from me hitting myself on the knuckles quite a bit, um, it, it feels like it's made, for, I, I suppose we've all got a similar size hand haven't we, but it, it really does feel like it's, it's made perfectly for my hand. Um, he does lots of different designs, so what I'll do is I'll leave you some links in the description below so that you can see Facebook, Instagram, um, not sure if he's on YouTube, but if he is, I'll, I'll find and I'll put him on there. Um, he is an amazing cooperator. If you've not heard of the EDC Cooperative, 100% suggest that you should have a look on, just Google it, um, the, on Facebook, Instagram, and definitely on um, YouTube. So ha have a look at who they are, what they do, um, and I definitely recommend uh, looking to join the cooperative, um, the EDC cooperative. 
So yeah, that's it for now. I thought while I'm here, I might as well just show you my EDC for the day. So starting off with the uh, Victorinox Pioneer. Um, also rocking the Aurora, um, the Rovivon Aurora. Funky Pen, which is the um, Cave. Co Sport, if I hopefully if I said that, uh, and also a, a, an Open L7, just in case I needed to do, uh, to do anything while I was out today. So yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Um, what I'm also asking, which I've said in all my videos so far, is please don't forget to share these videos so I can build my community and everybody gets to see more. And yeah, this time next year I'll be uh, asking Tom Cruise if he wants to fight as well. Um, yeah, so all good. Don't forget, stay safe, stay more under, and stay DC.